Hey guys, our very first step to learn UiPath is to install the UiPath Studio Community Edition. Now, how do I install UiPath Studio is something we are going to learn. First of all, let's understand what is the system requirement for UiPath installation. So, all you have to do is simply type UiPath installation requirements on Google and you would find a document from UiPath.com. Get onto that. And here, what is the minimum operating system? What is the supported one? So your CPU should be 1, 2 into 1.8 gigahertz, minimum 32 bit. Okay, recommended is this much. RAM, you should have minimum 4 GB. Recommended is 8 GB. Okay, disk space, you should have minimum 3.5 GB. So this is one of the uh, requirement that you can see on my screen. Let's talk about the operating systems. So the supported operating systems that is there today is Windows 8.1 uh, and then Windows 10, then you have Windows 11. I would recommend you to go to this page with the title Hardware and Software Requirement. Now let's move on to the next thing. Where can I download it? Okay, where can I download it? Now to download, let me first get onto Ignito Windows because I have already logged in. All you do is go to cloud.uipath dot com okay where will you be going cloud.uipath.com hit on enter uh, first thing is if you are doing it for the very first time you have to sign up okay so this is the sign up page so you sign up it will ask you to select your um, if you are using chrome it will prompt you to select your uh, gmail uh, and then you continue with the sign up process okay it's quite simple so first you complete the sign up process so once you complete right then you need to sign in into your cloud dot account so let me sign in and show you how that would appear okay cloud dot dot com okay so now this is how it will appear okay good morning rakesh and uh, and all that so now the very first thing is you should go to the help section okay there you find or on the right hand side also these options are available but i would recommend you to go to the help section okay so once you are the help section you find the options to download so what are the things given to you studio studio x assistant and robot okay these are the things will which will part of the package all the things will get downloaded so how this is done there are this is the community edition if you see this is the community edition so i have logged into cloud.yaver.com community because uh, one thing is the enterprise edition which you need to buy uh, for learning purpose we will be using the community edition okay so i hope you should find the community edition here and then here there are two different options preview and the other one is stable preview and stable now which one to go for now let me tell you what is preview preview is something it's a package when you download if you see 22.7 and the stable it's saying 22.4.4 the preview um, generally what happens you will receive a monthly update every time they are making some they are making some changes you will be receiving those changes every month in case you would like to try that out then preview would be the best for you if you would like to go for stable you will only get a yearly update so every year if the it is going to upgrade to next version then you would receive a yearly update I have gone for a stable it's up to your decision okay so now let's say stable and hit on download so once you download it will be i think it will be around uh, 1 point some gb yeah 1 gb 1.1 gb this data will download and it will take time okay now the next thing would come um, the installation of any application is a quite a simpler process you know you hit on agree and the next 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 but still i have created a detailed video if you go to youtube and type uipath installation and simply type rakesh my name here you find the 2022 UiPath download, install and sign in connect to orchestrator. So here when you go to, once you have done the installation and you have already signed in, do one, uh, one thing, go to settings and go to license profile and hit on change profile. So right now my, my profile is in studio 2020.4.4 pre uh, per, per user installation community license. Okay. Uh, now there is, there is also another option called UiPath Studio X. Many people what they do, they will go for Studio X. Let me tell you, Studio X is not for RPA developers. 
this is meant for people who are non developers i mean the business users so uh, you should go for studio so you can always change your profile if you like to see how the studio x requires for example if i click on it it will tell profile was changed do you want to restart so let me hit on yes then it will restart so i don't want to do it